Okay, now we are here in the sample question. So this is from Kedah State SPM Trial 2022. This is how you might expect the question will be. Okay, so your class has been discussing the rise of online shopping trend among teenagers. Your teacher has asked you to write an essay on it. In your essay, you should write about things teenagers prefer to buy online. Secondly, benefits of online shopping. And lastly, tips to be smart online shoppers. When you get this question, the first thing that you have to do is you have to identify what is the topic. Okay, in this case, the topic is online shopping. I'm sure that all of you are by now familiar with this topic. Okay, let's move on to the question, to the points. The first question asks you to list the things teenagers prefer to buy online. In this case, you have to identify whether the question wants you to state singular or plural answers. In this case, it must be plural because of the word things. And you have to identify what type of question is this. Is this question ask you to state? Or is this question ask you to give reason? Or is this question asking you to, to give um, ways or how? So this question is definitely stating or naming. So in this case, you will have to list. I would always advise my student to list at least three things. So it is up to you. Secondly, you have to identify the question benefits. Okay. So in this case, the, the question benefit is a why question. Why, does, why do people shop online? So you will have to give three answers try to give three points all right and lastly the question also asks the tips and tips in other words is a way or the question how so how can um, how can someone do something how can someone be a smart online shopper so by now you should know how to answer this already next we will move on to the introduction. So how do we actually write the introduction? I find it the most difficult part for my students to write mostly. And it is actually very easy if you know how to do it. Firstly, which is why it is important for you to identify the topic, is you have to write a general statement about the topic. You have to write something that is true about the topic. For example, you may start like the examples that I have here in the slide. For example, the topic is online shopping. So you can see nowadays, online shopping is becoming more and more popular, particularly among teenagers. Or if it is not particular among teenagers, you can see nowadays, online shopping is becoming more and more sought after. You can stop there. So you do not have to you know, follow every single thing um, as what, is, as what it is written. Write something logical for the topic. Okay, secondly, you should also give context. And what do I mean by giving context is, you should relate the topic to how people are experiencing it. For example, many people prefer shopping online rather than shopping at physical stores because it is more convenient, for example. Or you can also say many have started to shop online because it is more convenient. Okay, the one in red, for example. However, most people are still unaware of. So those are for the topics with negative connotation. For example, pollution. For example, crime. For example, enver 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 <laughs> environmental problems. Sorry. Okay. And lastly, you should answer the what question in, part, in, in paragraph one, in your introduction paragraph. I would suggest my weaker students to do this because they normally do not know how to elaborate the what question. So it is okay, just use that what question um, to be an answer in your introduction paragraph. So normally I would ask them to 
Start the sentence with There are many online shopping platforms such as Lazada, Shopee and TikTok Shop. Okay. If the question only asks you to give one, so you may want to list first all of the things that you know and say, however, the most preferred one is Instagram Shop, for example. All right. Um, in this case, this question, you may say there are different things that teenagers prefer to buy online. For example, books, clothes, and even food. Who knows? Okay, next. These are some words that you can use for general statement. For example, popular, sought after, preferred, important, indispensable. But if you want to make your statement negative, you may want to use the words such as worrying, alarming, serious, forgotten, neglected. Right? And some neutral word would be more and more common or on the rise. You can use this neutral word whenever you want to say neutral thing. Next. This is a sample introduction. A good one, of course, for you to look at. And this follows the diagram that I showed you earlier. For example, today, Online shopping, which is the topic, is becoming more and more indispensable, particularly among teenagers. And the context is, many prefer online shopping compared to conventional shopping because it is more convenient. Okay? And then the what question is, there are many things they prefer to buy online, among which are clothes, stationery, and even food. So when you want to show excitement, you can play around with your punctuation too. 